Well, hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Probably wonder what's been going on. Got a lot of stuff going on with out here on the farm and stuff. I, uh, you know, we're having to redo our roof and I can't afford to have anybody do it, so we have to do it ourselves. And so I got the rear half done. That took me a little over a week to do it, about killed me. And I got to do the front later. But that's a whole nother video and a whole nother issue. So anyway, you probably wonder where I'm at. Well, I'm inside my 24 foot car hauling trailer that we never really used to haul cars in. What it was, it was a mobile screen printing shop that we set up back when I had my screen printing t-shirt business. And we'd take this around to car shows. It had a printing press and a dryer and all that kind of stuff in it. And so since we no longer do that, you know, all that, I sold all that equipment, uh, you know, about six years ago, five, six years ago. And uh, the trailer's just basically been just sitting around. Uh, got some little cracks that have happened up in the front. It's got a little plastic thing on it. So I've got some water damage and whatever. I'm just going to get up there with some of that flex paste and fix that here probably today or tomorrow. But anyway, so I'm in a 24 foot car. Why? Well, I, I needed a new shop. I'm going to start laser engraving and I did a lot of research and I ended up buying a laser. Uh, I bought a, I'm going to say this wrong, so those people out there that uh, uh, know the proper pronunciation, if I say it wrong, uh, don't chew me out too bad. But anyway, it's a, uh, it's a Chinese laser, which 99% of them that you buy out there are. Uh, it's uh, pre-nix or pre-nex, P-R-E-E-N-E-X is the quote-unquote brand, if you want to say it's a brand. But it, it, it kind of probably is because uh, there's a lot of styles, different sizes of them that look in that deal. And they're all called pre -nicks, okay? So anyway, I bought the 60-watt uh, 24 by 16, which is, means it's 20, the, the work area is 24 inches by 16. Now, I could have got a little bit bigger one, which everybody would say, oh, you get the bigger kit. But that was a lot more money at the time. And so I didn't, uh, I, I said, well, I can always upgrade later if I want to. Uh, so anyway, I got this. It's supposed to be here tomorrow. And we're going to be bringing it in. Uh, I've taken and mounted an electrical panel on the side over here inside and redoing that. I got a little bit more work to do on that, but I've got most of it in. And I uh, put a light up here so I can see at night. The advantage that I have on the trailer is there's two exhaust ducts that are in the roof that were used for my, our conveyor dryer for the uh, t-shirt. So uh, they're six inch, so they're perfect. Uh, can you hook up the laser to them? And I got two of them, so if I ever get another laser, and I got another event. So, basically that's what's going to go on with that. Now, this laser I bought, it it was listed as used, uh, but they say it was just a damaged crate, but the laser on the inside uh, uh, of the crate is in good shape. So, uh, you know, I... Saved about $500, and so I, I, I took a chance on it. It still, cut, it still has a warranty, so has a warranty and all that stuff on it. So we're going to see if they're, if they're honest about what they said and if they're honest about the warranty. <coughs> but uh, I did a lot of research into lasers, and all the way from the little diode lasers to the, what, the ones they call the K40, and you can pick up a K40 for... 400, a little less than 400 or up, depending on who you buy it from. Uh, but that just, uh, after I looked at adding even the minimum amount of stuff to it that I would want, uh, the, the, the price was too much to do it. So, uh, at least for that size of a laser. So, I, anyway, I, I decided to get this one. It has the Reduta or Redita or however you pronounce it, controller, which is one of the things that I wanted. Uh, because that allows me to use light burn 
uh, software with it. Uh, it comes with RD Works, uh, which is okay, and I'll probably start with that, but I um, plan on getting Lightburn. It's 80 bucks for the Lightburn software, and, uh, but, you know, I can only buy so much stuff at a time. The reason, that one of the reasons I want to go to Lightburn is because it has the capability of me putting the camera inside the uh, laser, which then I can look down at the bed and see the substrate that I put in there and I can have it image that and then I can take the artwork and line it up, turn it wherever I need to over the top of that uh, substrate and then tell it to cut and it cuts. And so it works similar to the Glowforge where they have the little camera, you know, they show you if you've ever seen them. Uh, you know, it, it, there's no way I'd buy Glowforge. I just wouldn't do it. Uh, that's just me. Uh, too much money and you have to be connected to the internet and uh, you can't, I've heard people say you can't get a hold of anybody in support, so I don't care. If I'm not going to have anybody in support, I'd rather have a cheaper laser. It cost me a whole lot less. All right. So, uh, that's my saying on it. So anyway, the laser is going to go over here and, uh, we're going to have set up, I got my little table set up here right now. I'll probably use this for a while. And then, uh, the reason that I decided to put it in a trailer is because I don't want it in the house because you got fumes and everything, you know, it's, and I don't have enough room in the house anyway. Uh, but you got fumes and all that stuff that can come off these things. And I could have put it out in my barn, uh, and set up out in the barn, but then I got issues with mud divers. Those those stupid things, it, they get into anything you don't move uh, for two days, and uh, and stuff. They just build nests every dang where, and uh, they're terrible. And so I didn't want to do that. Uh, I could have built a room out there in the barn, but then that cost me a lot of money. And you know, I already had the trailer. Uh, you got to do a little bit of patch up and repair on it, and I had to put electrical panel in it, but that's no biggie. So that's where we're going to go on there. Right now, I'm using my laptop. Well, actually, it's my laptop I bought from my wife because my laptop crapped out on me. Uh, but what I think I'm going to do, because it's hard for me to see uh, the smaller screens now that uh, you know I'm blind in one eye, for those who follow me know the reason for that. Uh, so what I think I'm going to do is, uh, I've been looking into, well, they, you got these mini PCs, what's called, they're basically a little box like this. Uh, someone had mentioned using the stick PCs. I looked at that and I said, well, you know, uh, to get a decent stick PC, you're looking at 170 up. I can get a decent, uh, a pretty nice, uh, a mini PC with a little bit more features on it uh, and more memory and an actual hard drive, SSD hard drive in it uh, for like two two oh nine, And so that's what I'm going to end up doing. I'm going to get me one of those. Uh, and then I'm going to take like a 50 inch 4K t television and mount it right here on this back wall. That's going to be my monitor. Uh, because <clears throat> I can get a 50 inch 4K television for 200 bucks brand spanking new. So <clears throat> there you go. You know, $400, I got me a pretty good little setup there. And uh, I have a, the, it has 128 gigabyte uh, SSD hard drive in it, I think, what, they, what it said. But anyway, uh, I also have a, um, a 500 gigabyte uh, hard drive that uh, came out of a my other laptop that crapped out on me and I, I put it in a little case and I can plug it in through a, a USB into the side of this thing and uh, stuff so this will have my ports to be able to drive directly drive the laser do the and do the uh, light burn camera and stuff because I need uh, USB port for that 
and uh, so, so it's probably going to be a better deal. Anyway, enough of the rambling there. So anyway, so we're going to go along with this. Uh, I'm going to start doing a whole series on the laser. And, uh, and you know, uh, hopefully uh, you'll follow me along on my uh, trip down Laser Avenue here as I go through this. I'm going to, the laser's supposed to be here tomorrow, so I'm going to be getting a, I'm going to be bringing it in here in my tractor, you'll uh, video me taking it off the truck and driving it in, dropping it in here. Uh, I'm not going to do the typical unboxing where you're going to have to watch, you know, 20 minutes of me walking around with tools, knocking the crate apart. Ain't going to happen. You'll see me drop it in here, bring it into the room, uh, into the trailer, then the next thing you're going to do is see it sitting there. Uh, with the crate open and probably c completely out of the crate. And then we're going to bring it over here and we're going to go through it, do an initial inspection, go through the through the laser, open it up, see what's about, see all the stuff that's going on with it and everything else. Uh, look into side the electronics, all that kind of stuff, discuss all this stuff. And, but, and then as time goes on, I'm going to document and videotape and make videos of every upgrade, everything I learn on it, all the ticks, the settings, what I have found work, where I get materials as I go and I find out where to get materials, uh, all these type of things. I'm going to do, I'm going to do an entire deal on that. So uh, I ain't decided what I'm going to call the series yet, but I'll be calling the series a certain name. And so that way, if you're searching, they'll all be in a group, they'll be in a playlist or a group of playlists, and they'll be, but they'll all be under one thing. So you can always search that first part and get those videos from me. Hopefully you're going to enjoy them. Hopefully you're going to subscribe. Hopefully you're going to follow me along. Ring that bell if you want to be notified of my new videos as I go through this because I want to be making a lot of more videos in here. I've got my little deal here. It's really hard for me in the house. I don't have a good place to do videos. I don't have uh, uh, areas to do it. Uh, it's just not that easy and, and it's a lot of time setting up to do videos with the tractor. Uh, and here I can just set my camera back here on a tripod and that, and I get another camera over here and we can go to town with some videos and instructions. And I can do screen recording on the laptop or the, the mini PC when I get that in here. So anyway, laser's coming in tomorrow. Then next week, uh, sometime I'll be getting the chiller. Uh, now what's the chiller for those people that don't know what's going on with these lasers? The chiller is actually a uh, refrigerated water cooler. It, uh, you have to circulate water through these CO2 lasers tubes to keep them cool. And so uh, there's several ways that you can do that. Uh, a lot of people that are just starting out whatever else they use, a Tupperware tub filled with some uh, distilled water. Uh, they got a little small fountain pump in there and they throw uh, some two liter bottles of frozen frozen water in them to keep it cool because you got to stay at about 20 degrees C max, 18 to 19 degrees C, somewhere around in there. So that's in the 60 to 68 degree Fahrenheit range. Why did I mention that? Because there, there's another option you can do with, with a, a, they call it an industrial uh, chiller but it's really not. It's just a little box with a fan and radiator in it and, and a pump that circulates water through there. And those work great if you're in the cooler climates or whatever else, or you're in areas that the room never gets above about 65, uh, 68 degrees at the most. Uh, then you, the, you can cool to the ambient temperature with the water and you're fine. Uh, uh, unfortunately, you know, I'm inside a trailer that's not really insulated and, uh, I'm in an area where, you know, uh, in the summer it can be a hundred and something out, outside, you know, not much less what's inside this trailer. And so, it, you know, even when I end up putting an air conditioner in here later, 
there's no way uh, that I'm going to get this thing down cool enough to do that. So I had to buy a chiller that's actually got a refrigeration system in it. And I went ahead and bought one. Uh, it was only like $10 more than the other ones. Uh, I bought one that can handle two lasers. And uh, it's got two water port circuits on it. So I'll just loop one and go to town with it right now. And that way, if I ever decide to buy a second laser, I've already got the chiller to do it. I don't have to buy a second one. So that'll be in here next week. So anyway, like I said, hopefully it's something you're going to be interested in. Follow me through. I know this is a boring little video, kind of an introduction to what I'm going to be doing and stuff. But uh, hey, you know, I decided I wanted something to make some side money with besides my software because I'm really not pushing my software because I'm not in that industry anymore. The industry that my software is targeted at, let's put it that way. I'm not in that. I am working on uh, another version, of a later version of it that uh, allows people to build their own catalogs relatively easy with it and stuff. So, you know, try to get me a few more sales so I can pay for this uh, mini PC and this uh, 50 inch uh, 4K TV monitor I want to put up here. Uh, and see, the good thing about it is, is that with the PC, and here I can uh, uh, plug a Roku into it or a Fire Stick into it and uh, while I'm just bullshitting around I can watch TV too. Uh, I don't know how it's going to work with my door closed on my deal but I've got a moderate signal strength. It's kind of low. It's kind of a little weak in here back and forth on my internet so I'm probably going to have to put a uh, access point down on this side of the other side of the house here to to boost up the signal. Either that or I'm going to have to run a Cat5 cable out here, which I can do that. So anyway, this is going to be my shop for a while. This is where I'm going to work on my stuff. So there again, subscribe, ring the bell, Make sure you check in with me and stuff like that. And I really appreciate everybody that subscribes to my channel. You don't know how much I appreciate it. Anyway, guys and gals, thank you for watching. Check back. We'll have the other video coming up after a day or something on the uh, getting the laser in and getting it set up in here and stuff. And I may do a, some preliminary testing just with the water tub and an aquarium uh, with a little fountain pump uh, just to do some uh, test fires make sure uh, all the mirrors are lined up and stuff like that. I could do that with that uh, and I could actually engrave or cut with it but I just don't want to until the chiller gets in. Anyway, till next time. Thanks.